for uh, inviting me uh, to talk. Um, I have been a general practitioner, um, food research scientist, chemist, uh, and I, I, uh, I am very much dedicated to um, accuracy in what I have to advise my patients to do. Now, <clears throat> when I became a medical doctor, and I, and I did my chemistry and my biochemistry undergraduate training, I knew the number one element in uh, addressing my patients was water, water. And I can see one of my patients are in this office is the number one thing I have on my answer. Every time you come and see me, don't you have to identify how many ounces of water you drink every time you see me? Yes. And have I been doing that for decades? Yes. All right. So, water is the number one element in my treatment plan for my thousands of patients. And I am going to, you know, praise God, but I humbly say, I have less, I, I don't have a, the cancer show up in my clinic. I don't have the heart disease and heart attacks and strokes. I don't, okay? How does that happen? Because I emphasize water. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> When I saw the Velacqua system come forward last month, and I've been studying water, and the, I was involved in the uh, electric water uh, system by other companies out there, because I wanted alkaline water. I wanted an antioxidant water. But the cost was prohibitive to my patients. So I had them come and get it from me, and I bought the most expensive unit, and my staff is lugging water all the time. That's Aww. how important it was to me. They got it for free, right? Aww. Now, <clears throat> I do studies. I publish in scientific journals. So I did a study on the water, and in this, I looked at six parameters. I looked at energy. I looked at uh, sugar metabolism for my diabetics. I looked at your sleep quality. I looked at pain for your joints. I looked at um, fatigue, I looked at blood pressure, and I looked at cardiovascular, and I looked at digestive complaints. And I am, I'm very aggressive with my patients in my teaching. To come in my office, you're going to be in a mini little college room, and I'm going to teach you how to take care of yourself. When I talk to them about them, they're already doing many good things. All I did was take alkaline water and give it to them, and I had them do a Piper Fatigue, that's a special medical instrument to study um, antioxidant uh, or, or fatigue from the damage of chemotherapy. You get chemotherapy, you get tired, right? Right? So this is an instrument to study fatigue. I did this, quality of life, on these six, six different parameters, and every single parameter of my patients drinking alkaline water was improved. Their blood pressures dropped, their blood sugars improved, they had better metabolism, that's referring to intracellular, you know, respiratory therapy, uh, not therapy, but respiration of the mitochondria. Their pain went down, their sleep improved, uh, their digestion was better. Uh, so, when I saw this, I was jumping for joy because I know how to study out a scientific paper, I publish it myself. So when I looked at this, I got my own meter. I have my own pH tester. I have my own ion counter, my ORAC meters. It passed, all right? Now, when you drink water that is in these bottles, these bottled waters have this water sitting there for weeks, months, probably, right? Well, can we all agree on that? Okay. When they bring you sparklet water to your office, do you think it's been sitting there for more than a day? You betcha, okay? Are all of us in this room getting older? Yeah. All right. If we go outside, will um, ultraviolet light, gamma, beta particles hit us from the sun? Yes. Right? If we go in this room, we're all uh, inhaling. I'm, I'm getting intimate with you. I'm inhaling your breath. I'm inhaling her breath. But you pass the window there, not inhaling your breath. You can enjoy each other. <laughs> Here, and he walks through the plume of your sneeze. It's there you go. Enjoy your food. All these things are hurting your cells.
Now, I didn't, I didn't know I was going to be, what I was going to be talking They just asked me to come today. I know you can't see this back here, but I hold this up. Don't I hold this up in every appointment? I hold this up. This is a picture of a cell membrane. And I am published in repairing cell membranes. We have taken men who are in their 80s, we've looked at their ATP production, and we have made the energy molecule produced in an 80-year-old the same as a 29-year-old. Oh, wow. wow. Cool. So we're published in this. It's possible, but it's not possible if you don't drink water because, do I show them this picture too? <laughs> All right. In my office, this is a picture of the circulation, right? Right? Right. Okay. Now, you have a heart, and it's beating, right? Right. And you're hoping the three big coronary vessels don't crinkle up on you and get clogged, right? Right. right. All right, and there's a special group of doctors who worry about that, right? Yes. Right. I worry about your toe circulation to your brain circulation. The tiny capillaries throughout your whole body are going to help your fingers get nutrition, your brain, and your toe, right? Right. So I have to have a blood vessel get to every cell in your whole body, don't I? Yes. Yep. How am I going to get help to this cell membrane if I don't have water to put it through the pipe? Right. Right? Right. So. Excuse me, who's that? Yeah. <laughs> I have more people healed with this little five-minute pictures telling them to motivate them how many ounces of water are you drinking now the next thing I try and tell them and I'll wrap up with this I, don't I have you drink bottled water you're drinking damaged aged water <clears throat> now we can prove it and he's going to show it to you here on these tests he's going to show you the acidity of bottled water all of them he's going to show you there's a lot of um, acid in it. Who knows the definition of an acid? All right, good, a few of us. Acid, the pH, do you know what pH means? It's the potential hydrogen concentration of anything. We measure our pH. And if I, I never revi revived a person if their pH fell below a 7.28 in the ER when I was an ER doctor. Never, it's impossible. And you got to stay between 7.28 and 4.2 all the time. That's a narrow, narrow area. Now, this room, if we come back to this room in a thousand years, and no nuclear bomb goes off, no tsunami, right? And we come in here, do you think this room will look like this? No. no. The oxygen in this room is touching everything. It's going to crumble. The carpet is going to peel off. These are going to fall down, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So is it burning up? Is this room burning up? Yes. yes. It is, yes. It's burning up. Oxygen is combining with everything, and us too, right? Mm -hmm. And if that oxygen gets in you, we're slowly burning up. You want to know how important it is to maintain your pH? Hold your breath right now. You're building up your acid, because every time you blow out, you're blowing out carbon uh, dioxide, which is a product of respiration. And if you don't do it, you're going to get acid. And if you're going to get acid, you're going to get a burnt, hurt cell membrane. Now, the water, when it's acid, when, it's, when water is acid, here's oxygen with a hydrogen and a hydrogen. Does everyone agree that's water? Yeah. It's water, right? Yeah. Look at me. I'm water now. Watch. Am I about 85% water? Yes. yes All right, so here's the oxygen, right? And here's my two hydrogen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm a water molecule. And if the sun hits me and I get dehydrated, it knocks off one of the hydrogen ions, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Do you know what I become then? Mm. I become uh, 
unhappy camper. <laughs> All right? Free radicals. Free radicals. I'm an uneven hydroxy radical, right? Right. Or I'm a hydrogen ion flying around, right? Yes. If you have a lot of hydrogen ions flying around, I'm going to poke people, right? Yes. And their cells, right? Yes. When water's like that, You can't get much of them because they're all angry. Yeah. They're all angry. Now, if I have water like this, Can I get more water in the same spot if they're happy water molecules? Yes. Can I? Yes. Yes. And it's like a football field. I'm going to go charge through, and I have all these linebackers behind me, and I'm going to punch through and hydrate you. I'm going to get through that blood vessel. I'm going to get to your skin, ladies. Yeah. I'm going to get to your brain, and that you're going to sleep better. I'm going to get to your joints, oh, yeah. and I'm going to hydrate your joints and your cartilage better. Everything's better with it. So microclustering in this is like giving yourself a football team of water, delivering the ball to where it needs to go. Awesome. Wow,